No, I actually met Lindsay. I was probably 23 at the time going to the college group at Christ Community. I do remember John. I remember seeing him and thinking he is extremely good looking, but way out of my league. I thought she was, you know, right out of high school, 18 years old, you know. Nothing I should be messing with. And he was always just behind the scenes. First time I saw her, I always thought, oh wow, she's a... I did get a little bit nervous. Really noticed her smile initially and for the first year or so. And she's a great laugh. She laughs at everybody looks, especially when she's really laughing. One of the first things I noticed was um, <clears throat> just how selfless and generous he is. I guess the great thing that stood out to me about Lindsay early on was that she's really compassionate, like she cared for people. I just started praying, like, God, I really think that this guy is like worth it. Well, I guess it progressed from being just somebody in my small group to something bigger. He just kind of asked my opinion, like, you know, I'd really like to date you. More exclusive relationship where we can go out to, you know, on dates and stuff. I told him, I was just like, you know what? God has just given me an extreme, powerful love for you. It worked out better than you would assume, me being gone for a year. It was definitely a challenge. Lindsay's really good at writing letters and, you know, just being supportive. I just wasn't going to give up. Like, I was just determined to love him and get through that. Yeah, it wasn't easy being in that environment while trying to maintain a relationship. I feel like it was really good for our relationship because we had to learn how to communicate. I was really nervous before he came back because I was pretty sure that it was going to kind of be this, like, do I even know you? It was incredible to get back. See Lindsay for the first time in Lincoln, and we landed there. It was an incredible homecoming. It was good. He came back and we picked up where we left off. I went from, you know, just the dating mentality to deciding that I wanted to ask Lindsay to marry me. Preface Lindsay with little Lindsay or something, or the little one, because she's she's not very tall. He does nag me. You think women nag? Wait till you meet John. <laughs> I do like a little height that's less straining on the neck. I've had neck problems. He's pretty particular about like the way he looks. She's slow as hell when it comes to cooking dinner. And if you're hungry, screw it. He's extremely particular about his vehicles, which I appreciate. But it's a little like, all right, honey, let's go. She pulls the toilet paper down correctly, but whenever she's done, there seems to be the next ticket is cut in half somehow. I remember when I first met him, he washed his car at least once to twice a week, and that included waxing it and whatever. What Lindsay does to her hair is criminal. He's very much a stickler on time. It's just very, it turns into straw. It's very brutal, but it stays in place apparently. Five minutes isn't that big of a deal. We can be fashionably late. She'll freak out like, oh my goodness, the world's gonna end tomorrow. My stomach hurts. I was trying to think of a way to ask Lindsay to marry me. I'm not too, you know, flamboyant, creative, or crazy person. I didn't think it would happen on Valentine's Day, but it did, and I, it was wonderful. I went over to Lindsay's apartment on February 14th at about 5 in the morning. It was uh, like 5 a.m. on Valentine's Day. And she would not answer the door. I didn't let him in and didn't let him in because I didn't know who was buzzing my buzzer. I kept buzzing the door. I kept calling her cell phone, texting her. My phone is always on silent, always. And about 15 minutes into waiting outside, she finally I guess looks at her phone. And finally I looked at it and I was like, maybe it's, maybe it's John. Like, I don't know who else it would be. And she buzzes me. Poor guy was out there freezing his butt off. And we just made breakfast for her. And I got ready because I had to be to school early. She came out and she sat down. He was like, oh, Lindsay, I forgot the silver. Do you think you could grab him? So she goes in to grab the forks. I didn't think twice about it. I was like, sure, whatever. She pulls open the silverware drawer. So I go to grab the silverware and I open the drawer and there was this ring. Turns around and there I am behind her. I turned around and he was down on his knee and had his droid up here and was videotaping it. And he asked me to marry me and I said yes. And then I put the ring on and just kept smiling. <laughs> so right after I asked Lindsay to marry me, we sat down to try and eat our eggs I had made for breakfast. And she just sat there staring at me with this enormous smile. Would not even touch her eggs. For the rest of the breakfast, she just sat there staring at me, probably ate two bites of the haze. Kind of freaky. <laughs> How much
much wine did you drink? <laughs> for you.